EPSXE memory cards works just like the original PS1. It's one of two memory cards for all of our games. It's a shared memory card for all of the games. And if you want a memory card per game or an individual memory card by game in EPSXE, you have to go to config, then go to memory cards and turn on use individual mem cards by game. Now press OK. I'm going to close it. Then go to your EPSXE folder, go inside of the mem cards folder. And you should have here a folder called games. And if you don't have this folder in here, you can create the folder manually. Then go back to EPSXE and run the game. Or before that, go inside of the games folder. And you'll see that EPSXE will create the memory cards in here. And now we have memory cards one and two just for this game but these memory cards are empty. And if you want to use your save file from the shared memory card, you have to use some program like memory cards or mem card racks. And this is a tool to transfer between memory cards or save files between memory cards or to import save files to your memory cards. And first you are going to load the shared memory cards and then the individual memory cards zero which is the memory card in slot one. Then go in here and copy save to temp buffer. And then go to the individual memory card and paste it in here. Go to file and then save. And first I'm going to close this, close this again, and then load again, just to make sure that the save file has saved correctly. And in this case, it was not saved, probably because the EPSXC was still open. So I have to do this again. And then go to File, Save, close this just to check that the save file is in here then load the game in epsxe and the save files should be working correctly that's it for this video and thank you for watching